In this video, we're going to look at how to graph a supply curve. <clears throat> so we're going to start here with a supply curve. Q equals minus 50 plus 10P. Q is the quantity supplied. P is the price. We're going to solve for the price. So when we get a supply equation and I want to graph it, I usually solve for the price. Uh, since when we graph the supply equations, price is measured on the vertical axis. So uh, just something I like to do. Not necessary, but... That's what I like to do. So solving this above equation for P, uh, moving um, the plus 50 over to the other side, adding 50 to both sides, we get 10P equals Q plus 50. Now I'm just going to divide everything through by 10. So Q divided by 10 and 50 divided by 10 leaves us with this 5. So now I'm just going to evaluate this expression at various values of Q. So I like to start here with Q equals 0. So when Q equals 0, P equals 5. So we, want, we found one coordinate on the supply curve. When Q is 0 down here, P is 5. So we found the vertical intercept. Okay, the supply curve touches the price axis at $5. Let's put, it, put in other values of Q. I'll put in a value of 50. So evaluating this equation at 50. 50 divided by 10 is 5, plus 5 is $10. So when Q is 50, price is 10, we got another point on the supply curve. And let's just do one more. Uh, at Q equals 100, plugging 100 into the supply equation, we get price equals 100 divided by 10, which is just 10. And then that 10 plus 5 gives us $15. So at 100 units of output down here, we found that the price is 15. Connect these three dots, we have our supply curve. Let's go to example two. Example two perhaps is the maybe the easiest supply curve to graph. Uh, price equals 40Q. This supply curve will basically touch or intersect the origin of our graph. So here when Q equals zero, price equals zero. So 40 times zero is just zero. We found one point on the supply curve. Uh, putting in another value here, if Q equals two, 40 times two is 80. So at two units of output, the price is $80. And then plugging in another value here, say five, 40 times five gives us a price of $200. So finding that, uh, point on the supply curve. Here's five units of output. Go up to $200. There's our point. And connect the dots. We have our supply curve that describes price equals 40 times Q. Uh, of course, I could evaluate this uh, supply equation at other values of Q. Q, equal, Q equals 10 or Q equals 1 or Q equals 7.5 for that matter. But I'm just going to limit it here to three choices for Q. All right, and another example. Uh, this example, price equals 2Q minus 20, is going to be a supply curve that touches the horizontal axis. Okay, so like I did before, I'm going to plug in 0 into this equation. And if we do that, price equals negative 20. All right, so a price of negative 20 has no economic meaning. So that's going to tell us that when Q equals 0 and we get a negative price, we don't want to gr graph that coordinate. This tells us that the supply curve will intersect the quantity or horizontal axis, if I, as I have shown down here. So if that's the case, I'm going to plug in price equals 0. Okay, So if I'm getting a negative P here when Q equals 0, I'm going to first solve this equation when price equals 0. So setting P equal to 0 and solving for Q, just moving uh, 20 to the other side, 2Q equals 20, 20 divided by 2 leaves us with Q equals 10. So this will be the horizontal intercept. At a price of 0, quantity is 10. So this is where the supply curve will start. And then let's just put in other values for Q. Q equals 15. What does price equal? 30 minus 20, which is 10. So at Q equals 15, price is $10. And then one other uh, value for Q here. Uh, if Q equals 30, price equals 60 minus 20 or $40. 
So if Q equals 30, we're going to try to find $40. So that's going to be right here. We connect our three points, and we have our supply curve that's coming out of the horizontal or x-axis. All right, I will stop here. I hope you found this video helpful.